and all and welcome to the podcast step by step i am here to host the show uh chris mccarthy and i'm not the only one here to host the show there's another person here as well to co-host the show with me and his name is rob Haddon. is that it is that my intro can i talk now that was, I think, maybe one of my best ones. So, yes. It was. You said my name for me, too, which I liked. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have to do that. You didn't quite have to roll out the red carpet, but I'll take it. Rob, tell me about Step by Step and Scott Step. Well, a that's long the show. Time ago. Let me, before you start, let me just tell the listeners because I'm very excited to hear what you're about to say. But that's what this podcast is about. Yeah, so I feel like you're not letting it's me the do it. It's the 75th episode of the show, wow. and we're talking about Step by Step. We're talking about Scott Step, and Rob's got something great to say about it, and he will get to it. And uh, But I just want to let you all know first, in case you're new to this, the show Step by Step was on TV, and then Scott Step made music about it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Word for word? Word for word. Wow. Well, then go ahead and say it. Well, no, I don't want to say it now. You, oh, okay. You ruined it. Say something else, then. I hear. Tell me, you have a new diet. I understand. I do. I do mm. have a new diet. Yeah, not. I'm not doing keto. I'm not doing Atkins. Right. No. Yeah. No, I'm doing uh, what they call vegan. 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 And what is that? Oh, it's vegan. Spelled differently or the same? I'm just trying to. I'm trying to make it sound a little bit more posh. Oh you know? wow, that's fascinating. Listen, we don't have time to talk <sighs> about it. But I don't, don't want to have to talk about it. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> And then I immediately decided I didn't want to talk about right, it. Anyway, a long time ago, yes. about 20 years ago, mm-hmm. Scott Stepp wrote all his songs about the show Step by Step. The end. We're talking about a specific episode of the show Step by Step, and it's uh, season four, episode three. It's called Animal House. It's about college life. It's about Cody joining a fraternity, and we're going to hear all about that and about how uh, straight edge Cody gets into some trouble in the fret and so does Karen mm-hmm. and we'll get into it. And then we're also going to talk about the song. Um, you might have heard of it. It's called With Arms Wide Open, but wait, there's more. No, it's not called that. Strings version. Imagine if that was the name of the song. <laughs> With Arms Wide Open, but, but wait, wait, there's, there's more, more strings version. <laughs> That's what they should rename this version of it because it does have strings and that does differentiate it from the traditional version that everyone is aware of. It just has guitar strings. And it's at some point we had said that this song was about a different episode of Step by Step, but that was a technically a different song because that was the version without strings. Right. That's the version everyone knows and loves. This and then, is the strings version. Right. And you're probably thinking, oh, well, are the lyrics the same? Yeah. Yeah, of course they are. They are. It's just the strings version. The he strings version. The words. He wrote the strings version about this episode. And if you want to argue with us about it, don't. Now, Rob, I'm afraid to say that we do have to get to something else today, which is, uh, and we will, we're going to get to that episode. We're going to get to the song, of course. Well, look, I, and we've said this before. We want to stay on track this year. Your oh, resolution yeah. yes, is to yeah, only yeah. talk about the show. Yes. And we went and visited ourselves in this episode <laughs> last week. <laughs> That's right. And I assume yeah. that we're right behind us right I was, now. I was afraid you were going to bring that up. Last episode, we did time travel to this episode and beyond. And uh, we played a clip of this episode, I believe, last episode. But we don't have time to, to no, get gonna into... No, we're going to edit that stuff out because yes. you've already Thank heard you. it. Thank you. Yes, we're going to edit the part out that you heard last time if you were a, a loyal listener. But we do have other things to talk about. And that is not even by choice. We uh, no, an, we're under contract. We at this yes, point. Yeah. we are, and we got an email from corporate, and uh, corporate uh, apparently is under new management. We we have found, and they have not been pleased necessarily with the decorum. I yeah, I'd say the language that's used, the banter, the undertones, the overtones, yes. just just the tones. Yeah, there was a lot of talk about the tones and how they're not into it. And I'm not sure who the new owners are 
They said, we're under new management. We've been listening. We don't appreciate all of the tones, basically, is what they've been saying. Uh, in order to proceed doing the show, I'm afraid to say, if you guys like listening to the show, we have to do this or else they're going to cancel us and I don't want to be canceled. So we have to make PSAs. And the, it was something that's in this contract. It was in this email that we got and it says, next episode, you have to do these PSAs. And especially because they got wind that the episode of Step by Step that we're going to talk about today called Animal House, it's about a college frat party and you guys know what happens at those. Drugs, alcohol, cigarettes. They wanted to make it clear to the audience in case we have some fragile minds listening, some young uh, brains, uh, that that is not, we don't endorse that. No. So we have to do these PSAs. We're talking about it, right? We're not... We're not saying that go out and, you know, have a frat party. No. Because you know what having a frat party does? Then the cops come. Then you get arrested. And then you get kicked out of school. And then you have to go work as an electrician for six months without health insurance. And then you can finally get back into school. You graduate a year after all your friends leave. So your last year in college, you don't have any fucking friends. And that, that's what happens when you join a frat, guys. So don't do it. That, and that's not the official PSA. That sounds like something that happened maybe to someone close to you. Listen, I don't want. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. 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 No. All right. No one even asked about that. I will say. No. Was it great that this person actually was able to like graduate and get a job and stuff? Sure. Fine. Yeah. And you like, lo- lo- you know what? This person lost an entire year of tuition. They still had to freaking pay for that year they weren't there. All right. I mean, they didn't, but the parents did. <laughs> yeah. No one was happy about it. And this is not the PSA. No, this isn't the PSA. But no. don't join a goddamn frat. Uh, you're talking about yourself, but. I heard that you invited the cops to the party. Well, yeah, we got to sell cups. Right. And you needed a- any head that would show up. Listen, a warm body is a warm body. And that's what you so, told the sheriff, I yeah, believe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk about this PSA. <laughs> we have to. We have to. So according to this email, the PSA that we have to do right now in the first segment is uh, it's about cigarettes and smoking. And so, Rob, I say we just do it and then move on and talk about the episode, right? Yeah. Okay. Just do it, get it over with, and let's get into it. Okay. So this is a, a public service announcement on behalf of Step by Step and our new management. <clears throat> Hi, this is Chris from Step by Step. And this is Rob Haddon, also of Step by Step fame. We're here to tell you about the most dangerous thing you could possibly do, and that is listen to someone who's telling you about cigarettes. And technically, that means us right now. Yeah. So you should probably turn this off right now. But don't. Because sometimes those people are also liars. And that is also a category we fall into right now. We are lying to you because we are telling you that it, the most dangerous thing you could do is listen to someone telling you about cigarettes, but at the same time, we're telling you the truth about cigarettes, and you have to listen to us now. This is the written copy? Bro? This really... <laughs> this is confusing. I gotta be honest, this works itself in circles. I don't even know if I should be talking or listening to you. I, I don't know. Oh my god. Anyway, I, I, okay. I, I, listen, Sorry. for those of you who are still listening... Having someone tell you about smoking, regardless of whether they're telling you to smoke or about the dangers of smoking or just not to smoke or about the benefits of smoking, because, hey, smoking can be fun, make you look cool. It makes you look extremely cool. Those are, the I think, the four categories of smoking. You don't want to listen to that, but listening to someone talking about smoking, you are 25% more likely to start smoking. And we are here to tell you that even though smoking does make you more popular, does make you cool, makes you look essentially like Don Draper, gets so much, uh, uh, this says poontang. Should I read that word? I, it's on the copy. Corporate okay. sent it, right? <clears throat> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. They corporate did. So, uh, gets you so much poontang. Um, don't do it under any circumstances smoking equals no and And don't don't forget forget, hanging out out with with your friends friends is lit lit. but But cigarettes should not be
Okay. PSA number one complete. Bang up job, I think. I think we did. I think we did pretty well considering the copy was a little bit all over the place. I, I'm still confused as to whether or not we should have been telling anyone anything. I don't know. Tw- you're 25% more likely to start smoking if someone just talks to you about smoking and yeah, tells I, you not to. I know. I, I don't get it. Why but are listen, they doing this to kids in health class? I, I don't, I'm just trying to fulfill the obligation of the email I got from corporate. So I consider that done. Yeah, I checked the box, right? Check. That's what we're all doing at work. Exactly. And now we can move on. And so we will be right back. Uh, take a little break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the episode of Step by Step called Animal House, where Cody joins a frat and gets involved with peer pressure. Be right back. Step by Step. Well, what are you, a virgin or something? It's none of your business. Wait a minute. <laughs> you really are. Hey, everybody, guess what we have here? A real live virgin. Wow. <laughs> no lie, a virgin? Whoa, hey, dudes, virgin in the house. Hi. Virgin, 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 virgin. Okay, that was a clip from the episode of Step by Step about Cody joining a frat. And Rob, let's discuss. Honestly, this one was weird and awkward and nothing that would ever really happen in life. I, I want to say that right out in the open. As opposed to all the other episodes. As a man in the Me Too era, this was bad. It was. So yeah. Okay. So let's get it out there. The first scene, Cody's talking to Dana about how he's joining this frat at East Wisconsin University because by the way, he did go to college. He's like 25. He's at least 25. And uh, he's a freshman in college and he decides he's going to rush. And he goes, uh, uh, oh, Dana, I'm joining this frat. Dana goes, that frat is sexist. Mm -hmm. The other day, they called me sweet cheeks and said, what did they say? Something you want to come in for some afternoon yes. delight, right? So that as she's walking by, they apparently say it's a it's a frat house of construction workers, right? She's walking by the frat house and their cat calling her from from inside and he uh, he goes, oh, come on, Dana. They were just being nice. So sorry, guys. Cody is not woke and not he, on the right side. Of history and on this and one. he is canceled. I'm so sorry to say Cody fans are going to be so mad about this, but he Cody is canceled and never mind the fact you probably already know that the actor who played Cody did beat his wife and got fired from the show for domestic. Yeah, like he's not good to women and the character was built into that actor has been canceled a long time ago. Yes. Character of Cody, as far as I'm concerned, canceled this episode. So Cody's not woke. And what happens is he does join a frat and he goes to the frat house I, and I don't even know why he wants to join the frat, but he does, but he shows that it's a plot. It's a plot device. You're right. <laughs> he shows up and the guy who's the president of the frat is eerily similar to David Spade in the way that he looks, the way that he dresses his hair, everything, his, his height, height, his skin tone, every everything. little thing. As it's soon as a little as he, bit of stubble just yep, on the chin. Yep. Everything that was about this guy was David Spade, except for the fact that it was decidedly not David Spade. Spot on, just shoot me, David Spade. Yes. And so, but that's the guy they picked for the, and I I have to only imagine it was because David Spade had a little heat at the time because he was in SNL. He was doing movies and they were like, who should be the president of this fret? Ideally, David Spade. And then, of course, he's not going to do it. So what do you get? This guy who is like probably his stunt double. And it's not the first time that he, that the show has done this. His stunt double? <laughs> what what movies has David Spade done where he needs a stunt double? I'm sure there's something in Black Sheep where he like had to roll down a hill or something. And they got a stunt double for that? Because David yes. Spade's like, no, I'm above this. Yes. David Spade. Yes. I go on IMDb, not right now, but at some point and find out if there was a stunt team. And on, then tweet at us on the on dark Black web. Sheep. Yes. Yeah. You're not asking me to do that, right? I'm asking you oh and everyone listening yeah i'm not gonna do that let them okay all right you guys go to the dark web type in david spade (laughs) and just let us know what you find now i'm not sure if that answers the question but i still want to know what happens (laughs) i'm just curious now about that yeah what happens if you go i really want to know what happens if you go to the dark web and just type in david spade um so what happens cody goes and he uh interviews with the frat and He's a complete wacko talking about goats. 
and a bunch of other weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, at, he leaves, and then they're going to make the decision on him. They all go, no, boo, he sucks. Uh, and then one guy who kind of... Actually, you know what he reminds me of? I couldn't place it when we were watching it. The other guy who was not David Spade. The other guy who was not David Spade, this guy stands up and he looks like he's like an extra in PCU. Oh. And he's wearing Tevas. But that's not who he reminds me of. He actually reminds me of Kyle Mooney. Yeah, he did remind me of Kyle Mooney. And he stands up and he goes, guys, guys, I interviewed 20 girls on campus and they said they'd follow this guy to any party he goes to. We got to let him in. And so they let him in. So they're having a frat party. Cody shows up. He invites Karen and Dana and he goes, you guys got to come to this frat party. There's going to be so many chicks. And Dana says, no, thanks. Karen goes, yes, please. So Karen shows up to this party and Cody's there and the David Spade stunt double is there. And he goes to Karen. Hey, why don't we go upstairs and have sex? And she goes, oh, no, I don't really do that. I'm not really interested in doing that. I was just here to have fun. And he goes, wait, 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 wait. Are you a virgin? And she's like, uh, yeah. And he goes, everybody here. It's a virgin. And then Fucking the entire music cuts out. Yes. The entire room starts chanting virgin at her thinking. I assume that this is going to make her even more horny. But instead, Cody walks in hearing these chants and goes, wait a minute. They're chanting virgin. That can only mean one thing. They're talking about Karen or me because I'm straight edge. And he goes up to David Spade and he pins him against the wall and he goes, hey, you're talking about virgins. You think it's bad to be a virgin? Guess what? I'm a virgin. Now, what do you think of it? And of course, David Spade stunt double is like, well, if I had known that. So they kick Cody out of the frat and he's like, I don't even want to be in this frat. And he goes home and he has learned his lesson. And Mm -hmm. Cody, at the end of this episode, I got to say slightly more woke than the beginning. Slightly. So that was the episode of the show. You're probably all wondering. Yeah. What does this have to do with arms wide open? Strings version. Strings version. Well, you know what? We're going to tell you. And we're going to tell you right now. We're going to tell you right now. And as soon as I um, just opened this email really quick that I just got, and it is from corporate. Why are you checking your email? I have notifications on and it popped up and here it is. So I got this email from corporate. It says, um, oh boy, they didn't love the last PSA. It was their copy. It was their copy. We read it word for word. Yeah, did we question it? Sure. Yeah, it said they didn't like the part in the middle where we questioned it. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm still not sure that any of that was accurate. <laughs> uh, so now we have to do this new PSA. Oh, boy. Okay. We got to do it. They sent us a script. A script again? This is a script, All yeah. Right. And this is, looks like a scene. This is long. We have to act out a scene. It's kind of long. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's stage directions. Oh, no. Oh, we God. have to film this? Oh, God. I, oh, I hope not. I don't even know how they knew, by the way, that the first one went the way it did. We don't record this online. Yes. We record this. Yes, exactly. I'm confused about yeah, that. Yeah, just on your hard drive. We're not live streaming anything. Someone's probably, I don't could be. They're tapping in through Alexa or something. It's my guess. Oh, you think they're using your smart? Spe- I mean, listen, people. If there's a PSA that needs to be done right now, yeah, it's it's about alcohol. If you're going to do anything illegal, if you're going to have an argument with your wife, if you're going to cheat on your wife in your own home, <laughs> if you're going to do any of those things, yeah, do not have a smart speaker because it is always recording you. Mm-hmm. The way to do it, though, is is as soon as anyone comes over who you're about to have an affair with, you immediately go, Alexa, play Ja Rule, full volume. And then it, see, like that. See what I mean? Just like that. And now you and I could literally be fucking right now, and no one would ever, Alexa's not going to hear it. No, Alexa would never hear her fucking. <laughs> okay, Alexa, pause. But anyway, anyway, we have to get to the real PSA, which is the one that corporate told us to do, which is about alcohol. So let's just do this real quick. And then we'll tell you about the song arms wide open strings version and how it's about the episode of step by step. All right. 
Hey, Toby. What's up, Chilton? Just stole this from my dad. Whoa, no way. Is that brown alcohol? Nope. It's Bud Light. Whoa. You stole that from your dad? Your dad drinks Bud Light? He drinks Bud Light, and I took it from him right from his hands. How old's your dad? Like 24? (laughs) My dad had me very young. And it's honestly a little weird. But yeah, you're like 17. Point being, do you want to get shwasty? Yeah, bro. I want to get shwasty like an MFer, as the kids say. Uh, cool. I will be Patrick Shwasty. Do the kids know who Patrick Shwasty is? <laughs> Are, oh, oh that, no, hold that, on. I'll read the next line. Is that in the copy? I'll read the, No, no, it's not. I'll read the next line. I don't even know who that is. What what is that reference to? Okay, so they don't know who it. <laughs> At least they wrote it for the point of view of a. Uh, that is yeah, right. seventeen year old. <laughs> okay, and I'll read the next slide. But Toby, if I drink this, what's going to happen? Am I going to feel all crazy? You won't know until you try. And you want to be cool, right? Try anything once, right? That's my motto. <laughs> Hasn't got me killed yet. And the liver regenerates. That's an important thing to know. Why are they putting this all in the copy? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> yeah, I know technically it's not that bad to have one drink or two or three or even to drive buzzed. Buzz driving is not drunk driving. It's, I don't care what the billboards say. I'll be honest. Sometimes I drive drunk as hell and it's fine. I mean, wait. Wait, what's You've this? never had alcohol before and you don't know <laughs> if you like it. Wasn't this kid just debating? <laughs> yeah, and then they have his friend arguing with him. Oh, wait, hold on, read this. Ha ha ha, tricked you. I'm drunk right now. Whoa! This Bud Light is mine. My dad's dead. <laughs> wow. What? What do you mean your dad's dead? Do you want some of this, or are you a chicken, chicken? What do you mean your dad's dead? (laughs) I mean, he's... No, 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 don't change the topic, Chilton. Toby, my dad died, and it's not important how. The most important thing is that you chug this Bud Light with me right now. You're right. The way they do say to handle loss is to self-medicate. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, man, I feel so cuckoo right now. Oh, I am busy to the dizzy. I think I'm going to go make some homophobic tweets. Yeah, just like John Rocker, an American hero. Okay, let's go do that. And And don't don't forget, drinking drinking alcohol alcohol is not not on fleek. fleek, Unless on fleek fleek is a bad bad thing. thing. In In which which case... It is. Okay. I guess we have fulfilled that obligation. I think we nailed it as well as we could for only having read the copy the first time. I don't understand this ad campaign, I have to say. I'm still confused as to whether or not they're promoting alcohol or murder. I I don't know what's going on. They seem to be against alcohol based on and cigarettes based on the taglines. <laughs> But the actual copy that they're asking us to read in that scene? That I, was I don't know what to make of that. The, hold on. So the the kid killed his dad and stole the Bud Light. <laughs> that seemed to is be the- what I'm getting. And then has never been drunk before, but then called his friend Chicken and said, Psych, I'm drunk right now. <laughs> and then what did they do at the end? The- They had one sip, and then they went to go make homophobic tweets. Oh, right. And they referenced John Rocker, which was so weird. (laughs) Which is, that's that's a very weird, like we were talking about how they wouldn't have known Patrick Swayze. Who was a much bigger star than Uh, John Rocker. More famous person than John Rocker, the former closer for the Atlanta Braves, who made very homophobic and racist comments against the New York... uh, people and has continued to for the last two decades is he still doing it oh yes okay listen i don't know who wrote this copy it's corporate that's all i know but we did it we did it that's the most important part to me is getting through it 
so we could do what we really wanted to. That's the way my wife treats sex. Interesting. Do you want to talk about that? No, because she listens. Okay, so we'll be right back, and we're going to talk about the song with arms wide open, strings version, after this little thing. Step by step. Well, I draws her. All right, that is the song called "With Arms Wide Open," strings version, which is totally and one hundred percent unique from any other version of any song, including the other version of "With Arms Wide Open." Just Mo- want to clarify, mostly that, that one. Yeah. yeah, it's very different from that one, and it's also about this episode of Step by Step, is what we found out, and. Do we want to talk about how it is that? Well, I think there's going to be a lot of haters on this one. Hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of detractors. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of doubters. Maybe. Because we've already done this song. We've already done this song with another episode. We so have. We've got to prove how the strings version is different and why yeah. it relates specifically to this episode. What we need to do is we need to, and I, I'm not sure what, this term comes from, but we need to dunk on them. I, mm. right. You've heard, I feel like I've heard that said before. Yeah. Like this needs, we need to posterize these bitches, to posterize someone and dunk on them. I don't know what I feel like it has to do with sports, but I'm not sure which one. Yeah. I got to strap on my air force ones and dunk on them. Yes. We, that's what we're about to do right now with arms wide open strings version. <clears throat> Well, I just heard the news today. It seems my life is going to change. I close my eyes, begin to pray. Then tears of joy stream down my face with arms wide open under the sunlight. Welcome to this place. I'll show you everything with arms wide open with arms wide open strings version. Okay. Can I start? Please. I love to start. I love it when you start. So under the sunlight. Welcome to this place. I'll show you everything. What did the frat guys want to do to Dana? Well, initially, they wanted to give her some afternoon delight. And when is the afternoon? What is out during the afternoon? I mean, the sun. The su- sunlight. Oh, my God. You're right. Welcome to this place. Welcome to our frat house. I'll show you everything, including the bedroom. And my dick. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Close off, right? In the sunlight. So this song is, I mean, definitely the chorus is sung from the perspective of the David Spade-esque character. I think the whole song is from the David Spade-esque character, but what do you think? But wait a minute. What about the first line? Well, I just heard the news today. It seems my life is going to change. That could be Cody. Oh, getting into the frat. When he gets the news that he has been accepted into the frat. I think you're right. I didn't even get that. That's so, Mm -hmm. wow, that's deep. I close my eyes, begin to pray. He's praying that they won't find out he's a virgin and straight Mm -hmm. edge. Oh. Tears of joy stream down my face. He's so happy he got in. He's so happy. You're right. Yeah. Wow. And then, of course, with arms wide open under the sunlight, that is David Spade. Yep. And then I think the next verse is also still David Spade. (laughs) It's a bit of Karen. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game. Well, I don't know if I'm ready. Well, who's not ready to have sex? Virgins. Karen and virgins. Virgins in general. Mm Mm-hmm. And then to be the man I have to be, that's David Spade saying, I'm going to impress this girl huh, with my machismo. And impress all of my other frat bros. If they see me here getting rejected by this mm-hmm. virgin, I'm not going to be the man I have to be. So I think what he's doing is he's thinking this David Spade character coming up with the, you know, he's all cocky. Right. And then he and, goes, uh, he's really insecure. He, he takes a breath. I'll take a breath. I'll take her by my side. A little bit. Yeah. We stand in awe. We've created life. He's jumping Whoa. to step two. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. He's, he's thinking, I'll get her right upstairs and boom, pregnant. He's about to impregnate Karen. He's looking to. If Cody doesn't step in in this episode, guys, I'm sorry to say, Karen would have gotten pregnant at this frat and party. That's a second half to this season. I don't want to have to deal with. It and really is. did the writers. And that's crazy because Scott Stapp saw through all of this. He saw through what was in the episode. And he saw the intentions of the David Spade stunt double. I'd also like to talk about the last verse of this song, if I may. I, b- by all means. 
If I had just one wish, only one demand, I hope he's not like me. I hope he understands. Yeah. And I'm sorry. That's not the last verse. I had to uh, <laughs> hit the arrow down to unlock the rest of the lyrics on my phone. Yeah. And of course, I knew that because I'm such a huge Creed fan. Same. I did the same. But right there, I think that's, I think that's actually David Spade realizing later he was wrong and reflecting on what happened. And you can't treat women like that. Yeah. And then he's hoping that his son, the next generation of men, yeah. who are growing up right now in this time. Right. Maybe at the girl he impregnates at the next frat party who mm-hmm. won't say no. Right. I hope that kid understands. He'll be a better man, right? Yes. He won't do that. It's too late. He won't try to take advantage of 15-year-olds at frat parties. It's too late for me, David Spade. Oh, sure. When you're 21, I mean, your mindset is basically done for the rest of your life. Life is over. You can't change your opinions from that point. You're set in your ways, Mm -hmm. and you're done for. And your life is on a set course. And he has chosen the course of a horny guy who wears Hawaiian shirts. And that is who he is for the rest of his life. Casual Friday, horny guy in a Hawaiian shirt. And that's how it's about the episode. And that's how it's different from the non-strings version. Correct, which I don't even honestly remember which episode that was about. I think it was a very early one. Well, yeah, I think uh, on this podcast, we needed to do the hits pretty early. So <laughs> we had to get them out there. We did. And we did. And now here we are back there. Finally. Finally. But of course, it's different because it has strings. Now, let's do this last PSA. We have one more. Yeah. Have you gotten the, uh, have you gotten the copy from corporate yet? I had copy from the last one. They said these are the last two PSAs you have to do. And so this one uh, they sent in, a, in the same email. And so we just have to bang through this, I think. And okay. then I think we'll be good. Then we could wrap it. Then we could wrap it. Right. right, So we'll just do this one real quick. Okay. All right. This one is, um, oh, interesting. This one says, this one says, add your own experiences. Oh, that's weird. What's the subject? Drugs. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. I don't think I am either. Um, It says, here's an example. Hey, do you want to do drugs? No, thanks. I mean, okay. oh, we can just do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Hey. Um, oh, wait. Is that the phone? Is the phone ringing? What What phone oh, is that? Oh, boy. We haven't gotten a phone call in a while on this show. Oh, God. I'm, I'm actually a little afraid to answer. We should probably answer. Okay. So um, I'll just pick up and then, yeah, we'll see. Hello. Can anybody hear me? Hello, we here, we corporate, and we ready to take over. Corporate, we own the podcast. We own the show. We own the corporation, and then we own the show. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I d- sorry. What? Who I, is this speaking right now? I didn't even acknowledge you. I didn't say hello. I didn't say I anything. I said hello when that was enough. Yes, okay. I, I own the show. Who, you? Is, is this corporate? Is this corporate? This is the owner of corporate. You own corporate? I own corporate. I own many corporations, including the corporation that owns your show. I am a financier. Y'all's ever heard of Amazon? Y'all's ever heard of Microsoft? Y'all's ever heard of Microwaves? Y'all's ever... Y'all's ever heard of Wave Files? (laughs) Who is this? Please just tell me. I'll give you three guesses. I feel like... Two don't count. All right, I'm just going to... Bob K, motherfucker. Okay. And I'm here with my brother, Charles K. Schwab. Um, Chris? Yeah. You remember these guys, I, right? I think I do, yes. Bob K and his brother, Charles K. Schwab. Yes, okay. Of so, the Schwab fortune. No, I know. Should we explain a little bit? Because listeners may not know. They were on the show over a year ago. Are y'all going to tell... Hey, hey, hey. What, what, are what? Y'all, are y'all recording right now? Yes. How did you know to call us? We've been listening to hear if you're doing the PSAs. Oh, did you hack Alexa like I thought you did? You said you owned... Uh, we own Alexa. You own. You said you own Amazon. We own Amazon. We own Microsoft. We are majority shareholders in every company y'all ever heard of. Alexa, play Dolly Parr and Kenny Rogers duet Islands in the Stream. Baby, when I met you, there was peace. Alexa. Order Kenny Rogers roasters. 
Chris, I, I, okay. I don't know what's happening Alexa here. Alexa off. Alexa off. Okay. No. Guys, I'm sorry. What are you doing calling into the show? We're trying to wrap things up. We heard y'all talking on there, doing your PSAs, and you know we like to keep it clean. And it, I, honestly, yes. I have to tell you, you're doing a terrible job. Okay, you're right. So th- uh, just to explain for everyone listening, Bob K. and Charles K. Schwab are two guys who called into the show. Bob K. called in, I think, two years ago. And we, he, we called him. Maybe we... Oh, that's right. We called, we called him. him. He's a step-by-step yes. fan he on, was, uh, uh, on Twitter. On Twitter, and he was our uh, S-Tout episode. Yes. And um, he's a, a step-by-step super fan. Next time we talked to him, his brother joined, and that is Charles K. Schwab. Right. And they're apparently very wealthy uh, moguls from Tallahassee, Florida. Yes, we found out at the end of that episode that they are so rich, they actually own the phones, they said. So, and, but the, their main thing is that they are super religious, but they try to trick people into thinking that they're not, I th- I, if I we recall. Have the most popular, most listened to, most subscribed podcast. Most downloaded. Most downloaded. Don't forget no download. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most lit. Most woke. <laughs> most Jesus loving. Most Jesus mentioned per minute. Least canceled. Least canceled. Well, well, yeah. We own the podcast company. We own Cancel the corporation. Try to come for us. And you know what we said? You're going to have to rip this podcast out my cold, dead hands oh they tried they tried to come for us and we said listen back to the tape we don't talk to women we don't talk about women we don't need women in our culture i ain't never talked to a woman even once in my entire life and i am proud of it i never talked to a woman i never smelled a woman you know the movie scent of a woman who wah who wah I know I of it. I ain't never smelled a woman. I know of it. I won't watch that, filth on my TV. If that, that's what you're asking. That was that movie a trick made question? no sense. Bob K., was that a trick question you're trying to get me to admit I'd seen Sam and a woman? I know you've seen it. You're holding out on me. You won't tell me what it's about. I think it might be a good film. They ain't got no... I heard it's a blind man. He ain't never seen no woman. He just smelled her. It's all about this man. His name Al Pacino. The man in the movie's name is Al Pacino? Mm-hmm. Guys... What are you doing calling the show? Why are you here? We have to sign off. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're trying to wrap this up. Look, so you guys own the corporation. Yeah, we own the corporation now. What do you want from us? We're here to tell you that your PSA is a sorry excuse. A sorry excuse for what? For PSAs. Well, you, hold on. No, no, you guys wrote the copy. We just read it. We wrote the copy and we heard y'all in the background snickering and laughing and having a gay old time. Yeah. And guess what? No way ho zay is what I say. Point being, we own your podcast and you ain't playing by the rules. And guess what? We about to take over your PSA. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 guys. Come on. Yeah, I don't know about this. We did exactly what we, what we meant to do. I don't... You guys own us now fine you asked us to do psa's i think we did them here's how y'all do a psa hey charles what you want to drink some alcohol with me out back no hey bob k what's that there charles k schwab you always want to smoke six no hey charles yeah you want to get my mercury sable do a little bit of uh oh little cocaine let me think about that no hey bob k what's that charles angel dust no Hey, Charles K. No. Hey, Bo. What's that, Charles? Y'all want to look at this lollipop? Okay. Guys, 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 guys. We, we get guys, it, guys. guys. We, we, get we, it. we understand well, you don't like drugs. I, I don't think y'all understand. You got to go out there and you got to be firm with them. They offer you something, you yell, no! I mean, I don't know how much more plainly we could have written the copy, but you all, as I like to say, y'all... As we like to say down here in the south, in the deep south on the panhandle, y'all. Y'all did it wrong. Y'all, y'all did it wrong. Now y'all got lesson taught. That's, that's, how, that's what we call school day. You call school up north, we call it lesson taught. I call it training day. Y'all got Ethan Hawked. Denzel Washington, out. Okay. Uh, that was oh, weird. Oh, God. All um, right. Okay, so they, they basically hijacked the... Uh, uh, last segment there. <laughs> well, listen, I'll be honest. I think um, the PSA made it in, so 
we fulfilled our obligation. There's a PSA in the podcast. I guess. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a little concerned, though, that that's going to be every week. Do we have to do that? I'm a little concerned that, yes, they're going to want us to do a PSA every week, every they, segment. And they, they also own the podcast. I was going to say, that's something that we sh- that is canon. They own this podcast. That could be a problem. Those two guys. Yeah. I don't know how we deal with <laughs> oh, that going boy. forward. I guess I we'll find know. out. So that's the episode. Let's wrap it up just real quick. Let's wrap it up. So, guys, we talked about step. We talked about step. And that's it. There's nothing more to say. Except on behalf of the podcast, we will be back in two weeks. And my name is Chris. My name is Rob. And we can't step. And honestly, if these guys own us, we might step, but we won't step. I probably won't step ever. And that's it. Goodbye. Step by step. <laughs>